Hi, the purpose of this video is to help us practice naming polynomials. The first name of a polynomial has to do with its degree. The degree is the highest exponent on a variable. The second name of a polynomial has to do with the number of terms. The terms has to do, uh, remember terms are separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. So we can see a couple of names here for degree and number of terms. If it's degree zero, it's a constant. Those are things like the number 5, negative 2, 8. Something without a variable is a constant. If it has a variable in it, and the variable has no exponent, it's got an invisible 1, so that means it's linear. So for example, when we graph y equals 3x minus 5, that 3x, that makes it linear, because the exponent on the variable x is 1. Quadratic has degree 2, that'd be something like x squared. Cubic is degree 3. If you get beyond degree 3, we're just going to say degree 4, degree 5, degree 6. We won't call it cubic or anything, we'll just name it by the degree. There are names for these higher degrees, but they're not important. The second name of a polynomial has to do with the number of terms. Terms are separated by a plus or minus sign. If there's one term, it's a monomial. Two terms are binomials. Three terms, trinomials. And four terms are polynomials. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here. This question asks us to name the following polynomials. And we have something with uh, degree 4, something with degree 3. Well, the highest exponent on a variable controls the degree. So the highest exponent on the variable p here is 4. So this is a degree 4. And the, the number of terms here, there are one plus sign, so that separates the two terms. So there are two terms that makes it a binomial. So this is a degree 4 binomial. When you click the drop down, you'll find this is in no particular order, and we're looking for a degree 4 binomial. Here it is. Do the same thing with the next one, 2x squared. Well, this is a monomial. There's just one term. We've got to figure out the first name based on the number, of, based on the degree. So we look at the variable. It's an x. It's x squared. Since it's squared, it makes it quadratic. So this is a quadratic monomial. The next one has variable n, and the highest exponent on a variable is 4. So that makes this degree 4. There are one, two, three terms, again, separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. So that makes this a degree four trinomial. Next one, negative 10 a. a is the variable. The exponent on the a is an invisible one. So it's a to the power of one. That makes it linear. And since there's just one term, it's a linear monomial. Last, we have k squared. k squared is our k is our variable. It's squared. That makes it quadratic. And there are one, two terms. It's again, separated by a plus sign. So that is a quadratic binomial. When we hit check, hopefully it'll tell us we're right. Got it. 